hello friends welcome to civil concept and in this video we will see the units of measurement for estimation of the structure okay so guys unit of measurement is very important if we are estimating any structure like uh, bridge culvert uh, buildings etc okay so let's start our video here the first uh, is unit of measurement the first number is earthwork okay so in earthwork can be done uh, cutting or filling okay so earthwork can be done by uh, cutting the soil from the land or by filling the soil on it okay so this is known as what earthwork the measurement of unit is per 100 meter cube or per cubic meter okay and the payment includes up to 50 meter leads and 1.55 meter lifts it means generally 50 meter leads the rate of payment may be different if we have more than 50 meter leads or 1.5 meter lift the payment mode, uh, mode or rate will be different now what is uh, this lead and lift okay so lead represent the horizontal movement of the soil and lift represent the vertical movement of the soil okay so whenever we cut or fill the soil from the land then we have to uh, make it uh, we have to bring it for some distance okay so this is known as lead and lift uh, we have to uh, lift this uh, soil from uh, floor level to what up to the ground level okay so upper ground level so this is known as lift so if we have more than 1.5 meter lift then the uh, rate may be different and estimate will be obviously different okay now second number is surface excavation okay so surface excavation is what when the plan area is more than 10 meter square and width of the earthwork is more than 1.5 meter but the thickness of the earthwork is less than 50 centimeter the earthwork is known as what surface earthwork okay thickness means depth of the surface is how much less than half meter then the earthwork is known as what surface earthwork okay guys uh, unit of measurement is per meter square in excavation we had uh, learned that the unit of measurement is meter cube but in surface uh, uh, excavation unit of measurement will be per meter square mode of payment will be also in 100 meter square per 100 meter square or simply per meter square okay now in third number is swelling when the soil is soft one layer of rigid material is applied over the soil which is known as swelling okay so whenever we do construction then we have to check whether the soil is soft or not if the soil is soft then we have to provide one layer of swelling with the help of bricks or with the help of rocks okay so this is known as what swelling unit of measurement is per meter square we have to calculate the swelling uh, into uh, per meter square and mode of payment is also per meter square rigid material layer can be of dry uh, bricks or stone it may be uh, bricks or it may be stone okay now uh, in number four what is uh, in number four brick work or masonry work okay guys brick work or masonry work is simply the work of this bricks okay so unit of measurement is meter cube but for partition wall or five inch wall measurement unit will be what meter square this is very important terms if our wall is partition or five inch wall then we have to measure this brick masonry into meter square okay but if this is 10 inch wall or uh, more than 10 inch, uh, inch wall then we have to take it in meter cube okay so for opening area in the wall of 2000 cm square no deduction are applied now for opening of more than 1000 cm square deduction are applied but if the uh, opening area is more than 1000 cm square with uh, door and windows then we have to deduct this area to calculate the quantity of the brickwork okay for the end cross section of the beam up to 500 cm, cm square area no deduction are applied uh, in the same case if we have a beam on the wall and uh, if the area is uh, below 500 cm square then no deduction is applied okay but for the area above 500 cm square deduction all are what applied okay so uh, in number five what we have rcc work okay so cement concrete and brick work is uh, calculated in cm uh, meter cube okay and uh, uh, reinforcement measurement unit is what kg okay so this is still rod you can uh, see in this picture this is still rod 
and the measurement uh, quantity of this steel rod is calculated in what kg okay or quintal so density of mild steel is how much 7850 kg per meter cube so weight will be what volume into density and uh, uh, this is guys formula to calculate the weight of steel rod if we have some uh, meter of length okay so m by l equals to uh, 5 square by 162 this uh, is uh, the length of, of uh, length of steel rod in meter this is sorry this is the weight and this is the length of steel rod in meter and this is the diameter of the steel rod okay so simply we can calculate weight of steel rod is equals to l length in meter into d square which is the diameter of the steel rod divided by 162 this is the same formula as this okay when we take out this l at this side then we will get these types of formula okay so let us see uh, in uh, calculation i have made a one calculation with the help of this formula calculate the quantity of steel bars used in a reinforcement having diameter 25 mm uh, over 10 meter length okay so guys we have the length of steel rod 10 meter and diameter is 25 mm now how uh, what is the quantity of the steel bars how much will be the steel bars okay so just we have uh, learned that this is the formula m by l equals to 5 square by 162 and uh, this is the weight of the steel rod and putting all this value a diameter is 25 mm okay 162 is constant and 10 is the length in meter okay so after calculating we will get almost 38.58 kg this is also known as weight of steel rod okay guys so in this way we can calculate the quantity of steel bars in the reinforcement uh, with the help of this formula now let us see, uh, see another example this uh, the a beam contains four bars of 20 mm diameter uh, calculate the quantity of steel bars per unit length okay so there was 10 meter length and here is unit length, length it means one meter only okay so let us uh, uh, calculate here i have used this formula so uh, in uh, second step what we have to do use this formula 20 square it means the diameter of square divided by 162 into length there there are how much four in numbers okay so uh, you can see here uh, we have four numbers of bars uh, and uh, there is uh, unit length it means uh, one meter of each bars and four bars have how much length four meter okay so let us see here calculation after putting all this value we will get how much m by l equals to 9.87 kg per meter okay guys so this is the per meter length of the steel bars if you uh, have any problem then you can comment below i will answer this okay so uh, there are some notes in case of uh, reinforcement okay so in case of steel roof truss 5 percent quantity of steel is provided for riveted and bolted connection okay so if we are going to estimate the truss like structure then we have to add almost five percent steel for riveted and bolted connection for one door six hold fast are provided for windows four hold fast are arranged uh, uh, fast arranged are provided okay so for example uh, we have a door and we have uh, we have to estimate this door then uh, there are six number of fast okay one two six which can hold this door we have to consider okay but in windows we have to consider four hold fast okay now the maximum weight of each hold fast range is 1.1 to 1.5 kg okay so uh, the weight of one fast will be how much 1.1 1 kg to 1.5 kg okay so if we are using six hold fast then how much will be uh, per 1 kg into 6 equals to how much 6 kg of hold fast will be required for one door okay but in windows we require 4 kg of hold fast okay in the same way if the detail measurements are not given then this much percentage of reinforcement can be assumed to estimate the structure okay so for column 1 to 1 uh, 5 percent by volume can be assumed as a reinforcement for beam 1% to 2% by volume for b uh, for uh, 0.5 to 5% sorry guys this is not beam this is our slab okay so this is our slab so for slab we can assume 0.5% to 1% by volume okay and another important thing is threading of steel is done in terms of running 
लेंथ ओके नाउ इन द सिमिलर वे इन नंबर सिक्स इज डैम प्रूफ कोर्स ओके सो डैम प्रूफ कोर्स यू कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर दिस इज द डैम प्रूफ कोर्स इट इज प्रोवाइडेड टू प्रिवेंट फ्रॉम सीपेज ओके फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड टू द अपर फ्लोर लेवल सो डी पी सी कंसिस्ट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड वाटर प्रूफिंग अरेन्जमेंट प्रोवाइडेड विद द सीमेंट एंड कॉन्क्रीट इन नंबर बी थिकनेस ऑफ डी पी सी आर टू पॉइंट सेंटीमीटर टू फोर सेंटीमीटर इन एवरेज वी कैन टेक टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर डी पी सी इज प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द प्लेन्थ लेवल ओके सो वेन वी आर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ बिल्डिंग देन वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड डी पी सी एट द प्लेन्थ लेवल ऑफ द बिल्डिंग ओके नाउ डी पी सी इज नॉट प्रोवाइडेड एट द डोर ओपनिंग मेजरमेंट यूनिट इज मीटर स्क्वायर सो फॉर यूनिट ऑफ मेजरमेंट टू एस्टिमेट दिस डी पी सी इज वाट मीटर स्क्वायर डी पी सी बेसिकली कंसिस्ट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड सीमेंट कॉन्क्रीट एम ट्वेंटी एंड एम एम फिफ्टीन मिक्स विथ वाटर प्रूफिंग मेटेरियल्स ओके सो एम ट्वेंटी ग्रेड ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट इज वन इज टू वन पॉइंट फाइव इज टू थ्री ओके एंड एम ट्वेंटी एम फिफ्टीन ग्रेड ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट कंसिस्ट ऑफ वन इज टू टू इज टू फोर दिस इज अ रेशियो ऑफ सीमेंट सैंड एंड एग्रीगेट ओके नाउ इन नंबर सेवन प्लास्टर वर्क ओके सो द थिकनेस ऑफ प्लास्टर रिमेन्स टुवेल्व एम एम फिफ्टीन एम एम एंड ट्वेंटी एम एम द मेजरमेंट यूनिट इज ऑल्सो इन मीटर स्क्वायर विथ स्पेसिफिक थिकनेस ऑफ प्लास्टर नो डिडक्शन आर एप्लाइड फॉर द इंड ऑफ द बीम ओके सो इफ ओपनिंग एरिया इज अप टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मीटर स्क्वायर देन देयर विल बी नो डिडक्शन इन द प्लास्टर ओके and uh, if there is 0.5 to 3 meter square then there will be single sided reduction if there is greater than 3 meter square then there will be double sided reduction uh, for plaster okay now plaster work is always provided on the both side of the wall now next term is our pointing okay so let us see about pointing in number 8 pointing is generally provided for member which are exposed to the uh, atmosphere or at outside of the structure where it is not torn okay so you can see in this brick masonry some of the part is open mpt with the mortar okay so uh, we have to fill this part so this is known as what pointing and its measurement is taken in meter square not in meter cube okay now uh, in last term is our cornice okay so cornice is it represent a corner design which is provided for the decorative purpose okay so uh, measurement its measurement unit is running length or meter okay so you can see in this picture this is known as cornice or the edge of the this wall we have to make somewhere decorative okay so this decorative is taken in per running meter okay so guys these are the most important unit of measurement for estimation of the structure please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering